And at this point, I would like to bring up Coach Ray McCallum. Well, first of all, it's great to see everyone out. I uh, really appreciate you being here today. Uh, I want to give a special mention to our, our president, President Garbaldi. Thanks for, thanks for coming over. For you don't know, uh, the word is that uh, our president has quite a basketball game. I haven't seen it yet, but uh, <laughs> you're going to enjoy this new court uh, just like our players are. Uh, first of all, I want to recognize our staff, Coach uh, Carlos Briggs, uh, Coach uh, Derek Thomas, and Coach Jay Smith. Uh, as we start our fourth season, uh, these uh, young men have been with me uh, uh, from the start and uh, deserve a lot of credit for where you, the media, are uh, p picking us this year. Um, I also have uh, some of our players here. And uh, we always use uh, teaching moments and uh, experiences. So uh, we've got a kind of shy group, but I want them to, uh, to stand up and uh, introduce themselves, uh, starting with our, our sophomore class uh, first, uh, Jason. Sophomore. Junior. Junior. And our senior. Okay. All right. Okay. Good job, guys. <laughs> Well, um, we're, we're really excited. Um, we're really excited to get the season underway. Uh, as you know, we've, uh, we've faced some um, adversity early uh, with uh, some suspensions with uh, some of our players. Uh, I'm very pleased to say that those players are, are working on, on uh, their issues. And um, the big thing for us is that the young man that we've been working with for the last 11 practices have done a great job of in embracing each other, uh, working hard, developing that leadership, and, uh, and really getting better. Uh, our, our locker room has been outstanding. Our practices has been great. Uh, communication has been, uh, been really good. And uh, we're getting better. Uh, so it, it's really exciting with what's taking place within our team right now. Uh, we have a lot to look forward to. Um, <clears throat> as you know, uh, we were picked uh, second by you, the media, uh, and the coaches in the Rising League. And I reflect just two or three years ago when we came in and we were on the bottom. And we moved from uh, a 2-16 and 16 conference record to seventh place our second year. And um, uh, a, a positive showing is the semifinals in our conference tournament to last year moving to fifth place. So you've gone from the bottom to seventh to fifth and uh, so we are on the right track uh, to be selected second in this conference which is as John has said has done, just done a great job the programs in this league are outstanding we recruit all over the country and uh, when you mention the Horizon League and of course Butler uh, being the flagship program uh, we get recognition by, uh, by the student athletes that we're recruiting so we're part of a great league we understand that for our team, our school, our university to be selected behind Butler is a tremendous honor. What that tells me is that we're not only moving in the right direction, but the quality of players that we have in the program. We've got outstanding coaches, as John mentioned. I mean, outstanding. I've, I've worked in a lot of leagues. The coaches do a great job. But the players, the players in our conference get the credit. And uh, uh, you, the media, have picked uh, three of our players to be first team all conference, uh, which is which is outstanding. Uh, you, the media, have picked uh, uh, one of our players to be uh, preseason player of the year, uh, and uh, we've got players that that are going to impact our program that people don't know about and people don't talk about. We're going to be as good as our our, our entire team. Uh, we've got talent. Uh, Chemistry is coming together. 
Uh, we're recognizing what hurt us last year. Uh, the four teams that finished ahead of us last year are all going to be good. Uh, we know what we have to do to, to move up in this conference. And it really starts with us on the defensive end. We've got to get better defensively. We were the leading scoring team in the conference. We can put the ball in the basket. Uh, but we didn't play the kind of defense that, uh, that allowed us to finish in the top one or two spots. Uh, we still have some youth in terms of totally understanding what it means to finish in the first or second in this conference. Your first or second in this league, you get a bye. And that's what we're getting ready to start educating our teams, our, our team on uh, their conference standings. We have a standings board in, in our locker room where they can look at that every day and see where they are, but more importantly, see where we want to be. Uh, and, and that's going to be our, that's going to be our goal. Uh, Kerry and John mentioned, mentioned uh, how well the guys are, have done with the uh, APR, and that's, that's what our university is all about. And again, the coach doesn't get credit for that. Our academic support team and our, our young men get credit because of the focus that they, they have. Uh, we have six seniors on scholarship. Uh, three of those seniors are going to graduate in December. Isn't that right, Chase? You know, so that's great. We're, we'll have three kids in grad school starting in January. So they're, they're, they're taking care of business there, which is a, it's, it's a credit to, to them, and, and that's why they're here. But uh, you have to have balance, and uh, I think we have a balance. <clears throat> we have size. And, and these days, we talk about length. We have length. We have some long guys. Uh, we have athletes. We have guys with 40-inch vertical jumps. Uh, we have shooters. We have guys that can shoot to three. Uh, we've got guys with a high IQ. Uh, but I think the, the key for us is the experience and our time together. Last year was a totally new team from our 20-win season the year before. So all these guys have been through wars. When you can say to your team, hey, you, you, you open up in the pit in New Mexico in front of 17,000. I mean, I, I mean it's, it doesn't get any tougher than that. And then you come back, your second game, you're at the Carrier Dome playing in front of 30,000. And then your fourth game, you're going down playing Mississippi State in the Southeast Conference. That's the way the, uh, this group started. I mean, you're talking about throwing them out to the wolves. I mean, we sure did. And uh, with those experience, they're going to really carry over and help us this year. Uh, we have our, uh, our first exhibition game on the 29th. Uh, then we have our home opener on the 11th. And then we get an opportunity to go to uh, Notre Dame and play. And I know uh, I've had a lot of people say, Coach, what are you trying to do with your schedule? Uh, I said, we're trying to challenge our guys to get better. Really, for us uh, to, to go to postseason, which we haven't been in a while, we want to go to postseason, you've got to challenge yourself in a non-conference season. And, I, Terry, I listened to your, your broadcast. I heard you talk about the schedule so a couple years ago. So we're, we're, we're moving in the right direction. And, and with that, when you get an opportunity to play Notre Dame, it, it's great for our young men. It's, it's great for our, our university. It's great for, and John would tell you, it's great for our league. I mean, what, what, a, what a great opportunity. Uh, and they're going to be good. I mean, they're, they're good. But for me, I mean, all of that, I mean, it's three and a half hours away. I hear we have uh, fan buses that are going. We have a lot of alumni in the area. What a great opportunity. And the thing that John and Kerry ha has really done for us uh, is, uh, is grow our, uh, uh, our, uh, our brand. <clears throat> Somebody's going to have to run sprints. I mean, that's the way we do it, <laughs> is, is grow our brand. And, and playing in Notre Dame, that's attractive to television. So when John is, is working with uh, ESPN, he was saying, what, what game do you have? Hey, we, we've, got, uh, we've got Detroit at uh, Notre Dame. What a great opportunity. Uh, <clears throat> putting Dick Vitale's name on the court. I mean, that's, I mean it, it's a national story. And I think it's a tremendous association. Uh, with what he, he did for our university. Uh, from our standpoint, uh, his commitment to charity, cancer research. I've been down to his event the last three years. Uh, he's about the right stuff. And then also, you know, every young man around the country knows the name Dick Vitale. So uh, we're going to be playing on his court. Um, 
So what, what a great opportunity. ESPN has picked that game up. Uh, we're, playing in, uh, we're playing in Alabama, uh, which ESPNU is picking that game up as well. And then we have Mississippi State coming in. And uh, they're one of the, the more talented teams in the uh, SEC. So uh, we're playing top-notch competition. I don't want to slide anyone because uh, this league is going to be tough enough. And when you look at a team like Akron, who has practically everyone back that was in the NCAA tournament, uh, you can say, hey, you, you're playing Alabama State. They won their league. They were in the NCAA tournament. Eleven teams on our schedule were in postseason, five in the NCAA. So we're, we're going to be challenged. We have to lace them up tight every night. And, uh, and that's what good players want. And we're, we're able to sell not only our academics, our style of play, uh, but our schedule and, uh, and a good league. And uh, that's why we're continuing to, to move up in the rising league. Uh, predictions are one thing. Making it happen is another. And that's the thing that I, I want our players to understand. I say to them all the time, we haven't done anything yet. And, uh, but they're, they're working hard and they're committed. And I really believe that they're going to uh, represent you the right way. It makes a difference when you're there in the stand and, and supporting our, our young guys. Um, you know, it's about pride in, in your university. Uh, we're going to talk about pride in, in, in defending our home court. We have to make Callahan one of the toughest places to play in the country. And if you're there, uh, we'll have a chance to win most nights. Um, I know, Mitch, I'm going to bring you up. And uh, we're going to have a breakout sessions. And uh, I'll, I'll look forward to answering any of your questions one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Thanks again for being here. Again, we'd like to thank everyone for joining us. Uh, those of you on the Horizon League Network, uh, stay tuned. We'll have some special interviews for you. Uh, the rest of us will head down to the new floor and get a chance to check it out and do some interviews with our coaches and student-athletes. Thanks.